Now, in this lecture, we are going to talk about what is method overloading. Method overloading is a concept of object-oriented programming which helps in building the composite application in an easy way. Method overloading or you can say function overloading is a feature that allows you to create a function with the same name with different arguments and only the matching argument function is called. So you can perform different tasks with different arguments so easily using method overloading. Let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how method overloading work. So I'm going to start with a class keyword and create a simple overloading class. If you want, you can specify any name to this class that doesn't matter. In this class, I'm going to call a method call. Now this is a magic method in PHP to create method overloading. To create this method, you need to just start with this double underscore prefix and then specify the name to your method call. Keep in mind, you don't need to specify your own name to this method. Now to this method, I'm going to pass few arguments. So I'm going to pass here two arguments. The first argument is the function name and the second argument is the number of argument you're going to specify to this method. So when you call this object, you can call this method using this function name and you can pass a parameter to this function using this second argument. So I'm going to just say here if the function name is equal to this if name, I'm going to execute this if statement. So I'm going to just defining my method name here. If you want, you can specify any name here to this name variable. Now, just out of that, here I'm going to say switch. I'm going to call switch case. And in this switch, I'm going to call count argument. I'm going to count how many arguments I have to this call method. So once I have it, I can create different cases. So I'm going to create first case. So I'm going to specify here case zero. And then I'm going to say return zero. If I don't have any argument to this method, then I'm going to create my first case. And here I'm going to say return argument zero. So if you specify one parameter to this function or you can say to this method it's going to execute this case one just out of that i'm going to create a case two and here i'm going to return argument zero plus argument one so if you specify two parameters to this method i'm going to just add both this parameter and return it and just out of that i'm going to create case three where i'm going to return argument zero plus argument one and minus argument two so here I'm going to just call three argument. I will explain this function later when we call this method. So let's create an object of this class and then I'm going to echo this method. So I'm going to just say object and I'm going to call fn name. As I said, you can specify any name to this method. That doesn't matter. So when you call this fn name, it's going to call this call method. At this time, I don't have anything in this parameter of this function. So if you execute this statement, it's going to return zero. Now, just for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass five here. So once I specify my first parameter, I'm going to execute this switch case. So I'm going to just count it using this switch case. So this switch case will return one. So on case one, I'm going to return zero argument. So it's going to return five to this statement. So I'm going to have a five as a result. Just for that, I'm going to pass my second parameter. So I'm going to say here five comma five. When we call this method, it's going to first count the number of arguments. So it's going to see we have two arguments here to this method. So this switch case will return two and execute this second case. And it's going to add both this value and return it. I'm going to call these values using index. As you can notice, I'm using zero to access this first value and I'm using one to access this second value, just like we access array. So this argument is going to store this parameter in the array so you can access it very easily once we have two arguments this switch case will return two so this count function is going to return two and execute this second case and return addition of both these arguments so when you try to execute this statement it's going to return 10. now what if i specify three parameters here for example let's say i call this method again and i'm going to pass here three parameters in this case this switch case will count this argument first so at this time, it's going to count this argument and return three. So it's going to execute this case three and it's going to return the addition and minus the third argument from this value. So when you try to execute this statement, it's going to return five, five plus five, 10 minus five. It's going to return five. If you want, you can create n number of argument using method overloading. So if you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.